Hi, this is Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and today I'm taking a look at the Samsung Intercept, which is a new phone running Android, available now on Sprint. And you might want to call the Intercept a Samsung Moment sequel. After all, it runs a fairly basic version of Android. It's got the full QWERTY keyboard that slides out. But the two phones are really pretty different. The Intercept is much smaller than the Moment. The Moment felt like a very large phone. The Intercept is sort of small and sleek. It's got this kind of hump here at the bottom where some Android phones have a jutting chin. This one sort of sticks out on the behind. So besides the differences in the body size, there are a few other key differences between the Intercept here and the Samsung Moment. For one thing, the screen is a smaller screen running at a lower resolution. It's only 240 by 400 pixels, which is pretty small for an Android phone. It still looks very good. You can see the icons and pictures still look pretty good. You still get panoramic backgrounds. Samsung only gives you three panels on the home screen instead of the normal five or even seven panels that some others are offering. But my biggest problem is that the touchscreen just didn't feel very responsive to the touch. Some actions just had a tendency to lag a little bit, especially when the phone was, was just starting up or just firing into action. And it, it just didn't feel as responsive as I like to feel on a modern smartphone. Samsung didn't change Android too much with this device, though I will say that a lot of the times when I did have trouble with the responsiveness of the interface, it was usually on something that Samsung had added or changed. For instance, here in the contacts list, this long list was especially problematic. I sometimes couldn't get this letter track over here on the right side to pick up my finger input, and sometimes the contact list just behaved strangely. For instance, you can see it sometimes picks up taps when it's not supposed to. The contact list will integrate your Facebook contacts as well as your Twitter contacts and your Google contacts. Sometimes you can see it'll show two or more Google contacts, up to four contacts for the same person. But it also does a nice job of sort of gathering the list together showing your recent Facebook and Twitter updates. It couldn't quite grab media for me from photo albums online, and it, it didn't quite work perfectly, but it's still just a little bit better than the stock Android contact list, though it doesn't quite live up to what HTC is doing on its Android phones. Samsung says that the Intercept here will get a upgrade to Android 2.2 sometime in the future which could be a key selling point of this phone over the Samsung Moment. Since the Moment does have a better screen, it seemed to be a little more responsive, gave me a little less trouble. The phone comes with some of Sprint's own custom software. You've got Sprint's new football software to replace their NFL mobile software. You've got Sprint Navigation, which is a free turn-by-turn -turn navigation service, though Google Maps on this phone also offers free turn-by-turn -turn navigation. There's Sprint TV, there's an ESPN app, there's a whole bunch of apps. The small screen size didn't really cause too many problems with Google Android apps running on this phone. Some more advanced apps like Photoshop Mobile ran just fine. Of course, Facebook and Twitter ran fine. I tried installing the beta swipe keyboard and unfortunately that didn't work. Nor did Speed Forge 3D, which is one of the more advanced 3D games available on the Android app market. But otherwise, I really couldn't find any apps that didn't work because of the smaller screen size or any other trouble with the hardware. I like the color scheme. I like the couple color options with the cool print on the back. But unfortunately, the advantages that this phone offers over the last generation are really only skin deep. And in a lot of ways, this phone is a step down from previous Samsung efforts, even on Sprint's network. For PhoneScoop.com with the Samsung Intercept, this is Philip Byrne.